hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how i make an inspired curry chickpeas stay tuned i'm going to show you what i'm making so basically i just had a two cups of chickpeas into this bowl here i'm going to get a clean fork and i'm going to try and crush it okay so i ended up putting it into a food processor and i'm just going to remove it now And you can see it's not fully mashed or I just had the herbs and spices that I will be using. Here I've got a tiny little scotch bunny pepper from my pepper plant. Pimenta leaves. I made this a few months back. I've done a video on it so you can go and check that video out. Okay, and then we have two cloves of garlic here and scotch bunny pepper, very tiny scotch bunny pepper, which we won't be using all of it. First, we're going to put a pinch of salt and for this one here, you're going to season to taste. So you're going to season to taste and you also can use any herbs and spices you've got. So I'm just going to a pinch of salt. So I'm using here half a teaspoon. Smells so good. Two cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna have those and also a piece of scotch bonnet pepper. And I'm just gonna have a little sprig of fresh thyme. And you know me, I normally use the leaves. And we're also going to add half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And I had a scotch bonnet pepper already. So I'm going to use my pimenta. So these are pimento berries, so instead of allspice, I'm just going to crush a few of these and I'm going to add those to it. If I were to use the allspice that I mentioned, so this is the one that I mentioned, yeah, allspice, and it's also pimento berries as well. It should be, yep, yeah, hold on. So as you can see, pimento berries. Okay, so for this one here, if I were to use this one, I would go in and add half a teaspoon as well. However... I'm going to be using this one so if you haven't got this one use the other one half a teaspoon and i'm just going to use probably about five of these crush probably a little bit more than five because i really like the flavor of it so i'm going with about 10. this is what i'm going in with half a teaspoon as well so that's the pimento berries okay so now that i've done that I'm going to mix everything in. I'm going to add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. This is optional. You can just add water instead. Just to make everything comes together. Okay, so I just added some spring onions. Quarter cup of gluten-free oat flour. Gonna mix everything in. So I'm using my hands, making sure that everything is incorporated. I had some curry, so that's half a teaspoon, and I'm going in for another half. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I finish mixing everything. Now I'm going to leave it to sit for a while. You can leave it to sit for anywhere from 15 minutes to a day or overnight, I should say.
ya. So we're just going to allow them to get brown on one side and then flip them over and then coat the other side as well. What I did was just add some hot boiling water to it, just a tip. I'm going to add some more now, and then I'm just going to cover it over and allow it to cook for a few minutes. What I'm going to do now is just season to taste. I'm just going to season everything and um, just top up the gravy with some more seasoning. I'm going in with some and this is just half a teaspoon. The same for the honey. In. It doesn't need any more salt, so I'm not going to put any more. It doesn't need any pepper either. So that's all I'm just going to add to mine just now, just to season to taste. I might sprinkle some spring onions on top of it and then just allow it to cook for probably another 10 to 15 minutes and then it should be ready. Thank you very much for watching if you do like this video please go ahead and give it a like if you've got gluten intolerance wheat allergies celiac disease or you're simply gluten free by choice please consider subscribing to my channel for more gluten free recipes and other information about gluten thank you bye